splitting and combining LRGB combinations is performed using the color combine and split commands. Uh, first thing I want to do is create a luminance image from this color image and to do that there's a number of ways we could do that. I'm going to use the split luminance command to make a default luminance image. You could use luminance and gamma to add the RGB values at each pixel together or to customize how you're creating it. But I'm just going to use for this example the uh, default split luminance. Okay. So you might think of, I mean, this luminance was created from the color data. It could also be created by uh, an H alpha stack of images or uh, actually a luminance stack from a, of a monochrome camera you could, you could do, use. But the point here is that I've got color data in this image all stored in a single image and I have luminance data in this other image which was split from this color image and created synthetically but it could also be created by a separate stack of exposures, which would be even better. Okay, what I want to do is take the color data from the color image, and I want to split it out into its red, green, and blue components, and then I want to add in this luminance and blend them back together while I stretch them at different levels using digital development. Uh, to split the color from the color image, I'm going to use split colors, LRGB, and I'm going to use the new color image option. And what that'll do is it'll preserve this image and it'll split the components right here. They're all stacked up on top of each other and make a new color image right here. Now this image, the original and the one that I just created from the split components are really identical. So I'm going to close the original one and move this combination color image up here. Maybe I'll move this up to the top a little bit too. Give me some room. Uh, now these color components, I'm not going to do a lot with them, so I'm going to shrink their size down so I can still see them, but uh, I'm going to put them right in between these two images. Maybe one more. Okay, now let's look at what we have again here. Uh, let's move this down, maybe move this down a little. I've got the original color image that I split into its red, green, and blue components using the split colors command and I had the create new image option that's what opened up the combine LRGB box and linked these three color components back to uh, a new color image which is essentially the same as the original one I haven't changed anything yet I've just made the color components accessible plus I can blend in the luminance but notice here I don't have luminance set yet uh, I could have split this image with a luminance and red, green, blue option, and it would have created uh, all of these separately. But since we're kind of imagining that this could also be from a separate stacked image, uh, that wouldn't be possible. And I really want to add this image back into this slot, which is what I want to demonstrate here. Okay, so to get this luminance into the uh, color image, I'm going to select the luminance option, which is currently blank, and then just left click on the image. Now, since all four of these images were really split from the, the uh, original color image, when I press apply, I'm not going to notice a change here. If this was uh, created from a separate stack of real luminance images, you'd already notice a difference. Okay, now let's stretch these components. I'm going to use digital development to do that. Uh, I'm going to apply it to all, which means red, green, blue, and uh, luminance. So I'm going to bring this over a little bit. 
Uh, maybe a little more. Maybe around that kind of a value. And see, it stretched each one of the component colors plus the luminance image. Now when I press Apply, it's going to take these updated components and rebuild the color image right here. Uh, maybe I'll brighten the background a little bit. Press Apply. And at this point, I think I'm going to stop stretching the color and just focus on the uh, luminance. In fact, I'm going to also sharpen the luminance and I'm not going to touch the color anymore. So to do that, I'm going to uncheck the Apply to All. I'm going to lock the image on this. And all this does is, as I move around the images and make the different ones active, since digital development is locked to the luminance image, every time I press the apply button here, uh, it'll always apply digital development to the luminance image, no matter which image is the active one. Okay, now I'm going to continue stretching the luminance and then sharpen it. Uh, well, let's move this down a little. And then maybe we'll uh, bring this up a little. Okay, now let's press apply and see how that brings out the red color. Um, perhaps I want to sharpen the uh, luminance image here. Well, that sharpened it and let's also add the uh, fixed defect. And we'll do an update. Um, and this, this is how you blend uh, color components with either a synthetic luminance or a luminance image uh, from a separate stack. If you were starting with a CCD camera, you would build each one of these separately and then use this command to blend them together to create a color image. With a digital camera, you've got your red, green, and blue already stacked into one, but you can split it out and then do another run with H-alpha, let's say, to make a luminance image, and then uh, combine the uh, two runs, the, uh, the color run and the uh, H-alpha run, using this command to, to make a, uh, an enhanced color image. Okay.